Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Indy here with Ultimate Tour Reviews. So today I've got a $70 jigsaw versus a $330 jigsaw. Now, take that with a grain of salt a little bit here. This is the retail price of this jigsaw. This is the Makita XVJ02. Uh, the Metallo HPT, this is the Amazon price I'm talking about here. Uh, you know, about uh, 70 bucks or so. And it usually goes for about $99. So, sort of here. You can, you can sometimes find this one cheaper too. Like, I think it's a little bit cheaper on Amazon. Um, I'll throw a link in the description to both of these. You want to check out the current pricing on Amazon. Metallo is changing this one on Amazon all the time. Now, my question is, is it worth it? I've used this one quite a bit, been very, very happy with it. My father-in-law, he's used to kind of the older style jigsaws. He tried this thing. He's like, this thing is amazing. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, it's only $70 and it's absolutely incredible for a jigsaw. And I definitely agree. I love this thing. It works phenomenal. It's super cheap, lifetime warranty. Now moving over to the Makita, I thought, hey, he's going to absolutely love this thing. He's not a chance to try this thing out just yet, um, but I'm hoping he definitely likes this one too. And I kind of want to say the difference between these two. What makes, you know, a jigsaw almost four times as pricey as the differences here? Um, now, I will say kind of quick specs here. This one is heavier. This one has a bit more strokes per minute. That's about it. I mean, there's not like a whole lot of difference here. Um, they both have, you know, quick change for the, you know, uh, jigsaw blades. They both have nice shoes. They both have pretty much the exact same grip. Uh, the Makita does have a button lockout, whereas the Metallo HPT has, you know, just a kind of click switch there. And that's that's about it. You know, there's not like a massive, massive amount of stuff that's different between these two. But let's check out the um, weight difference here. I know the Makita is definitely heavier. Four pounds, 5.8 ounces, and we're going to use three amp hour batteries for both of these because I want to make sure I matched up the batteries as close as possible. Um, if you're using a jigsaw, if you use jigsaws in the past, you know you definitely want to use a larger battery. I'd probably use a five on this, but I don't have an equivalent five for the Metabo. That's right around the same weight category. So uh, five pounds, 12.4 ounces for the Makita with a battery. Definitely, you know, <laughs> heavy on the back end there. Uh, whereas the Metabo HBT, I like how it kind of tucks the battery kind of closer to the center mass there. Yeah, four pounds, three point, what is that? Three point eight ounces. We'll throw a three amp hour battery on there as well. See how much weight that adds. Five pounds, 1.6 ounces. So Metabo is slightly lighter. That's kind of what I expected there with batteries on it. And uh, that is going to be interesting here to really see the comparison of these two. Oh, yeah, and the Makita also has a variable speed one through six. Um, they both, of course, are going to be orbital action. I'm going to turn orbital action off on both of them to kind of keep this as a fair test. And when it comes to jigsaws, though, I I'm kind of questioning how much does power really make in a test? Um, I know it's kind of more subjective. You really want to have maximum control on jigsaws whenever you're using jigsaws here. You want to be able to really have control, really, you know, follow the lines of whatever you're doing. Um, and then having a nice variable trigger makes a huge difference as well, too. Whereas, you know, both of these have variable triggers. The Makita actually is has the on-off lock switch you have to hit first. And then, of course, there is a soft start, which can be disabled relatively easily. Um, it's very well known how to disable that, but I'll put a link in the description, guys, if you want to see how to disable that. It's pretty easy to do on this one. Uh, for blades, we're going to be using the Diablo Fast Wood on both of these brand new blades. So let's give this a shot and see how well these can do. All right, so I've got the same shape on both sides of this piece of wood here, traced out. I'm going to start with the Metabo HPT first. Uh, I'm going to go through this. It's going to be a rather simple shape here, but yet still requires some precision. So it's going to be a combination of speed and how well I can control this jigsaw, which will really determine kind of who's doing the best here. And I'll also give you my kind of subjective, you know, thoughts on each one, how each one definitely feels. So let's start with the Metabo HPT.
right, there we go. Let's try the Makita. Okay, so here is my Metabo HPT cut side. Um, definitely had a good amount of vibration on that cut there. You could tell I had to stop a couple of times, kind of really get it to work there. Um, you can even see, you know, the blades are the same on both these, but yeah, it had a little more pull at times. I don't know if it was kind of the angle I was pulling it at, um, but it definitely felt like it was working. You could definitely feel like it wasn't like, you know, I'm running out of power there, but you could definitely feel like you're pushing it to the max there. Um, wow, the Makita, you know, using these back to back, um, of course you saw the stops, the, the, the soft start there, definitely was very noticeable. I thought I had this thing disabled. I'll have to try that again, try to disable it. I thought I had it disabled, uh, but it was not there. But you can see, you know, it's soft starts when it feels more resistance, it kicks into full speed. A little annoying there, I'm not a huge fan of that, so that soft start. I feel like I just want to go right to the full speed right away. But wow, the vibration difference, night and day, just massively less vibration. Um, I, I could feel like I could just keep pushing that thing as fast as I could push it, and it would just keep going. It definitely is noticeably more powerful than the Metal HPT, and I feel like I could definitely get the thing more maneuverable. It, it definitely felt, I thought the Metal HPT was really maneuverable. Wow, going to the Makita, huge, huge difference there in that jigsaw. Um, I mean, depending on what you're using a jigsaw, if I was just doing like regular flooring work, so that's the last project I could do with this thing. Yeah, it's not like it's a massive difference. Do I feel like the Makita is worth nearly four times the price? No, there's no way. I don't think it's worth four times the price at all. However, though, it's definitely a massive step up from the Metabo HPT. It's very well noticeable using these things um, back to back like that. Um, both of you are relatively easy. If you can use one, you can use the other. They have kind of the same stuff. You know, you've got orbital action. They both have the quick connect blades that are basically identical. There's not really a difference there. Uh, the Makita, of course, has that on off button, which cool. And whereas the Metabo HPT just has a simple lockout switch there, which also on the other side too. So yeah, they're really, really similar, but wow, the Makita definitely more powerful. Soft start, yeah, annoying, but I'm trying to figure out how to turn that thing off. I thought I had it off, but oh well, I'll figure it out. It's not too hard to do, I don't think. And, you know, it just was felt way smoother, way less vibration, way easier to maneuver. Pretty big difference there with the Makita. Um, and that's kind of classic Makita. I feel like they do a lot of really, really good stuff, you know, 20% better than the competition, but they're going to charge well over 100% more price-wise to do it. So that's going to be your difference there, but... Again, though, it's showing you how well Metal HPT is just a massive value. And it's why I have a lot of Metal HPT tools in addition to Makita is because they are so cheap, so affordable, and they're pretty much 80% Makita for literally, you know, a third the price, if not better at times. So very cool to see both these jigsaws. I'll put links in the description, guys, to both of them. Both are pretty cheap on Amazon, both from actually authorized retailers. I think the Makita is like 200 plus ish somewhere around there on amazon whereas metabolism is probably around 70 80 dollars most of the time we have seen it come down on you know the prime day stuff down to like 60 i believe so it does get pretty cheap and well worth it honestly um but yeah both these jigsaws very very cool oh, if i didn't mention before i did score this actually on ebay for right around 120 bucks and uh, this of course is used i didn't really want to pay the full 300 dollars for this thing because yeah, it's really expensive, but wow, if you can find a good deal on this thing on eBay, definitely pick it up. This thing is a monster and really blown away. Uh, I will say I have used the Makita 12-volt jigsaw in the past, which actually worked fine. The big problem with that jigsaw, though, is it burns through those 12-volt batteries like crazy. I feel like you get like three, four feet of material, and you got to replace a 2 amp battery already. I think I was going through, I did, a, uh, I did a little project where I was putting in some beadboard and man, I was going through like a battery every 20 minutes with that, with that little tool. It's just crazy how well that thing worked, but it burns through batteries like crazy. Where these bigger ones, you know, 18 volt tools, you don't have much of an issue there. You got plenty more batteries if you got those batteries. And of course they have a lot more juice in them as well too. So, you know, at the end of the day, Metabo HPT, phenomenal value, but Nikita, wow, night and day difference, much smoother, much more powerful. And uh, yeah, 
love it, but don't love the price. There, that's what I'll say about that. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.